This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Uh, well, DMX gets on Drink Chat. Very entertaining. Always entertaining with DMX. So on here, he talks first about Pharrell and snitching. He says, I like Pharrell. I like his beats, but why is he like saying he got the he got the the feds on speed dial? Like he's gonna he's ready to snitch on somebody. He he had, nobody agrees with Pharrell advocating to snitch to be a tattletale. You know, it was weird. He was very passionate about it too. Like he sent people to jail before. <laughs> it was odd. Um, then he talks about Youngberg's story when. Uh, he took his first girl, like Youngberg's first girl. He was going to get laid. If you don't know, Youngberg was under DMX early, like when he was like 14 or 15. And uh, on the road, DMX took the girl from him by saying like, hey. So he must have been like 18 at this time, you know, because he'd been under DMX for a few years. And now he's on the road, 18. Got his first girlfriend. <laughs> going to take her to the room and DMX opened his door and said hey hey sh uh, shorty uh, you left your uh, purse in my uh, in my hotel in my room and he and Youngberg said I know he was lying he never saw this girl before I just met her downstairs <laughs> and DMX back and, he said, and DMX said yeah that was right I didn't know it was his first lady I would have let it ride <laughs> yo DMX savage um so then we got, oh, then he also talked about that story with, uh, was it Murder Mook that told the story? Maybe it was Murder Mook. It was somebody, I forget. He said DMX told the story. Well, he told the story about DMX battling somebody up on Lennox in, in, uh, in Harlem. And the dog did the ad libs, like he trained the ad libs, and he said, that's not true. That must have just happened at the moment like she must have growled and i said i just you know played off of it like yo chill ma let me get her <laughs> that was the funniest dmx story though that i've heard in a long time um next up we got cardi b of course she can't stay she is very insecure okay like when people get in her comments she has to respond if she doesn't like it like most people can just you know leave it alone she can't somebody said Oh, you be taking uh, your kid out with Offset, but what about all of his other kids? Why don't you take him, uh, take them all on vacation? She says, we always do things with other kids. When uh, they mamas go on vacation, the kids go with them. This is my vacation. Wait, what is this? She says, uh, this is my vacation, so my child goes everywhere with me. Worry about your own kids. Uh, then someone said, hey, but uh, why don't you just... Then the woman responds, hey, uh, but why don't you, like, you know, take the other kids along? She says, the other kids... The other kids don't live with us, but when we're in Atlanta, they come, they all come there. But, like, we're in California right now. Oh, sorry. I wouldn't know what we're doing. <laughs> I was like, come on. You know, Cardi just responds to everything. It's like, people are always going to try to be on your business. You know, you just got to ignore it. But when you're insecure, you got to respond to everything. She needs to get over that. She needs to get over that. Nelly's mansion is rotting in Missouri. He bought this mansion. I don't know if... Well, let, me, let, me, let me see what this is. I didn't really read this article. I just thought it was crazy that he has this... He bought this huge mansion in St. Louis. And uh, he's listing it right now for like, I think under 600000 It's huge. Looks really old, too. But it looks nice, like it has potential. It just needs a lot of work. I think this would take like a million dollars to bring up to work. But it says uh, that, so Nelly's abandoned crumbling mansion could beat all yours. Uh, it's pretty cheap. It's on 12 acres, Hidden Valley Sky Resort. Uh, let's see, it has a game room, media room, better with all that space, right? Uh, Nelly hasn't lived at this house in years. Maybe he'd throw those big road cases in with the living room, too. Oh, yeah, because he has all these. I'll show it to you. He has all these road cases in the picture. Let me see. So he obviously moved on from this house and just decided to never sell it. I don't have a picture of that room, but he has these big road cases. Uh, so $600,000. I wonder what he bought it for. 
Oh, he hasn't lived in it. Maybe he'd throw in the big... Then he says, not clear exactly how this is allowed to fall in just did so much disrepair. It looks like the pool was like halfway done too. Oh, he did the music video tip drill here. Huh. So, this house is pretty... I mean, it's not even that old. He must have really just destroyed this house. <laughs> I don't even I, I don't know what it's being listed. I don't know what he bought it for or anything, but six hundred thousand for a six bed, six and a half bath, ten thousand square feet. That's that's pretty big. Um twelve acre lot. You can get a lot for, for a house like this. It doesn't show when it was usually it shows uh the history of the property, like what it was purchased for. I can't see it on this on this property. I mean, if you want to, if you stick around for a second, I could find out because I'm not, I know another website that usually tells you good property history. Can you believe that? So he probably bought this house for a lot of money and just let it go in disrepair. That's crazy. Let's see here on Zillow. Everyone knows Zillow. Home value, tax price history. It was sold in 2000, so he bought this in 2002, but it doesn't really show how much he paid for it, unfortunately. I was curious about that, because it, so this house is probably built in 2002. He probably bought it as a new house, and he just let it go, it's really, like, needs a lot of work. It looks like there's, like, cracks in the floors. And the whole backyard is torn up. But if someone wanted to put like a little bit of money out of time in this house, I bet you it would be nice. Anyways, that's about it. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.